guys, this is Celine here. I'm coming to you again with another video about some hair that I purchased from Amazon. Okay, so you're probably going to hear my TV in the background, so let me close this door. This is Cariana. Um, good Lord, help me. This is the Cariana uh, Keep It Spray Hair. And I purchased this hair because I wanted a more natural look. You know, uh, summer was coming up and it is lightweight. It's very lightweight. And I kept seeing reviews about it. And I've been thinking about purchasing some kinky straight hair for a long time. And so I finally decided to do it since I've gone natural. I do not have a perm in my hair anymore. And my hair is naturally curly. So um, I really don't have to do a whole lot to my own hair and that makes this better uh, for my scalp and everything but what I was going to say is that I saw so many reviews about this hair not curling and staying curled it does I used a waving iron and I'm going to bring it closer um, yesterday check out See if you can see it even better here and I'm trying to show you that it still has a slight the slight wave to it after using the waving iron and sleeping on it and everything so it does hold a curl I don't know where they got where this where it doesn't hold a curl but it does hold a curl I have it pinned because I did not curl it I, this has been pent up since yesterday this in the same form and um, there's nothing about this that doesn't curl I have not used the flexi rods in it yet um, I was going to but yeah, I got a little busy and too sleepy to do it before I <laughs> went to bed so I didn't get a chance to do it y'all but um, I wanted to let you know about how this hair performs this is the 2022 20, and 24 and it had a sale on and so i bought it for just a little it was 89 dollars with the discount and i think with taxes it was like hmm uh, right at a hundred dollars you know you got to pay tax so tax is probably ten dollars is a change I paid for shipping because I wanted to hear before Mother's Day I did order from Amazon but I, since I, you know I don't have Amazon Prime so um I can say that it doesn't just it so far it doesn't do a lot of tangling up in the nape area from what I can see now it will um, kind of stick a little if you are if you have it behind you and it's this long if you can see it's really really long and it's very very full and so um, it will um, kind of stick you can brush it out and it's it's gonna be just fine um as far as I can see but I've only had it in for about a week so um that's my impression now if I take it down all over I even have hair left over I really do um I'm trying to think of where I put it but I used all of the 24 I use some of the 22 and some of the and some of the 20. I don't want to lose my, my <laughs> YouTube. Oh, she just lost a bra. But anyway, um, uh, it's really thick. I'm on. If I unpin it here, um, I can show you. But I have it pinned up to a point that it's just pin beyond pin I had it pinned up for churching for a certain updo style that I had going and um 
as you can tell I got a thousand bobby pins in here so pardon me <laughs> take this out I did dye the hair um I did the bleach bath bleach bath method on it okay I still got some pins here um and it's some dark hair and I'm thinking now I may have not left it I don't think I did it strong enough because the second time that I actually did it um let me, it. let me do is if I could do a prop here okay so you see how and you can see the where I lightened it I did a lot of lightening at the top because I didn't care too much whether it was light at the bottom but it is fluffy and this is not even I knew I was going to catch that other um hairpin that's up here in my hair but this is my hair on top here and it blends in seamlessly I might add with this hair and I'll show you this is my hair here and my hair isn't really short but I'm not I don't have time to be talking about fixing anybody's hair so that's why I buy this stuff folks um but you can see it is it's full and it moves and I love it I actually love it so um I'm going to see I gotta just a second I have a curler it's one of those flat irons that will curl and stuff so let's see I've got it on 420 this is uh, the infinity pro by con hair and as far as shedding goes mine shed some because I cut it now before I cut it it wasn't shedding any at all but as I told you once before I don't I, my scalp is one that I don't do so in so it's going to um, I had to do what I had to do and I don't want to put too much heat on my own hair because it'll straighten out like I said I don't have any uh, perm in my hair but my hair, I have good hair, and my hair will just flatten out in um, it hasn't heated up. It'll just straighten out, and it won't match this unless I put something on it. Um, I was going to show you how you could take this, and, um, and the hair is not dry. I also use... Garnier Fructus Sleek and Shine. Um, see if it's in there. Yeah. Okay, so. Oh, 
I'm looking in another mirror. That's why I'm not looking at you all, but. See that curl? And I didn't hold it on there very long. I just wanted you to be able to see that it does actually curl. And I had, if I had a smaller piece and I wasn't using, and this hair is thick. So, you're going to have to work in real small sections if you're talking about curling it up. See here? Yeah, so, and like I said, with my hair, Sorry about that. I knew I was going to drop this. <laughs> so I'm, I'm going to either deafen somebody or I'm going to either deafen somebody or something. But, <laughs> um, but you can see my hair blends in with it. Right here is where I did that. And I used um, the, eco, the Eco Styler and to lay my to gel my edges down I use also use that shine jam stuff too so but this is just for show so you can actually see see that's what I'm saying I don't have bad hair folks I have good hair but if I just don't put anything if I just use water and um uh, if I just use water and a little um, styling mousse or something, my hair will just wave up really wavy and stuff. So, but I don't not going through that today. But I just wanted to show you that this stuff does curl, and I mean you can. Uh, see ya. Now, I should have left it and let it cool off, but, yeah. So, if you're thinking about getting some pretty decent, um, kinky straight hair, carry on up on Amazon. It's a good place to get it, y'all. So, if you want to do something, I don't know what this is on my shirt, probably sweat, but, um, if you want to do something, you want to have that natural flowy look or whatever you got going on like I said um try to carry on a hair it's really it's decent hair um I've seen so many bad reviews and I was I, I was really skeptical about buying it because I thought oh my god um but I did anyway and I'm glad that I purchased it now like I said I can't tell you how long it's gonna last because it's only been a week and I'm just trying something to see if I really like it. I mean, so far I do. And it's very lightweight. It's not heavy on your head. You don't even feel it on here. And that's a plus, especially coming up to the summer months. And I'll probably, refer, I can take this down and turn it into just a complete ponytail and have all of my hair out except the, the ponytail that I'm going to wrap up here. So that would be a, 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 you know, a styling, something you could do. And you won't even have to worry about it being on your neck. So, um, like I said, good hair, pretty decent hair, pretty decent hair so far. That's what I can say. Now, like I said, how long it's going to last, how long it's going to stay um, like this, I don't know. I, I want to lighten it some more. So I'm going to try to use um, Dark and Lovely. Um, to lighten it up some more on top, not on the bottom, but just the straight the, the layers around my face so I don't look so washed out. His dark hair does not become me very well, but since I had it pulled up, nobody could really tell, you know, <laughs> it doesn't matter. But anyway, um, just wanted you all to see this, and it did retain, 
It did not straighten out on the ends like people said it was going to do when I did the bleach bath. It did not do none of that. Um, you have to know what you're doing. And when you're listening to these reviews, taken with a grain of salt. You have to know how to work with hair, period. And if you don't, let somebody do it that does so that you don't mess up what you bought. And I'm not saying that whatever your experience was with this hair whether good or bad, you know, if you, you know, sometimes bad experiences come from our own mess, mistakes and things. And so, um, you know, like I said, you have to take those reviews with a grain of salt because some people don't know what they're doing. They need to leave the stuff alone and let somebody do something with it that does know. And, um, you know, and I've seen, you know, they have reviews saying a beautician. I don't know if the beautician did it or not. We don't know. So, um, unless she's standing right there in the shop showing you, and I've seen pictures on there that uh, the beautician has uh, was in the shop and did, and her hair looked really, really good, y'all. So, like I said, um, if you don't know how to work with this hair and you're trying to do it on your own, your best bet is to pay somebody and let them do something to it that knows what they're doing, not somebody that's just doing something to be doing something. Now, as far as the ends go on here, uh, they were saying that the ends were being, were scraggly or whatever. No, they're not. No, they're not. That's what I'm saying. When you wash this hair, it fluffs out. Whatever you get in the package, you can't look at the first results of the package. What you have to look at is the end result once you wash it. You do not take this hair and take it out of the package and decide that you're going to throw it on your head. Don't do that. It's chemicals and stuff they use to prepare this hair. You better wash that stuff out. That's why your scalp is always having problems because a lot of y'all do not wash this hair and stuff before you stick it in your head. You need to wash this stuff. And if you're going to do any processing to it, do it then. And so... Like I said, I, I've been doing this for some years. I'm not a beautician, but I've been doing this for some years. I've done trial and error on a lot of stuff. I've messed up stuff, and I, you know, I wasted money, and I'm right there with you. I don't like wasting money on something, and it's not, I mean, buying something, it ended up feeling like I've wasted my money for it. So I'm trying to give you at least a realistic idea of how this hair is going to perform. This is Amazon hair. This did not come from Yummy or none of those other places of high dollar. So you got to think about what you're buying for the price that you get. You can't buy 24 inches, 20, 22, and 24 inches for under $100 on Yummy or some of these other sites, Indeed and all that. That hair is 200 and something dollars a bundle. So what you're getting, you know, is going to do what it's supposed to do. But this is, this is, these are vendors on Amazon and it's cheap, you know, whatever. So don't expect a miracle. You just have to, if you can't afford it, save up you some money to get you some premium hair if that's what you want. But right now, on a budget, this is what you get. <laughs> so <laughs> I'm just saying. But anyway, so... The fluff, the move, and, and, and all of that. Carry on the hair. So, like, comment, and subscribe, please. Uh, the more comments I get, the, the more, or the more uh, likes that I get and views that I get, my uh, videos and stuff circulate. So, I would appreciate the traffic, and I would appreciate the viewers. And I also always say I appreciate my subscribers that I do have. Thank you, and until next time.